Vintage Hollywood photos reveal a huge secret. Hollywood had held sway over millions around the world for many years. Whether it's film or the new screen idol or just one of those juicy gossips that refuse to go away, we all want what we could get out of Tinseltown. Good thing there are pictures to prove that Hollywood indeed is a place like no other. When vintage Hollywood photos reveal a huge secret, you better pay attention. Mammy Van Doren Mammy Van Doren was the starlet of starlets of her time, a blonde bombshell styled after Marilyn Monroe, even looking similar to the screen goddess. Van Doren was not just an actress but also a singer and a 50 sex symbol. She was loud, lusty, and unapologetically so, which made every scandal associated with her a favorite among the press and public alike. Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret on the 1964 Viva Las Vegas set The chemistry between Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret was palpable for a reason. They not only played lovers on screen but were also involved in a steamy, year-long affair. The affair ended when Presley got married. When they met again after 10 years, Presley told Anne Margaret that his feelings for her had never changed. Five years later, the king would pass away. Marlon Brando, the director Brando was a force all his own. Unfortunately, over the years of working in Hollywood, Brando's work began to decline as he appeared in one bad film after another. In 1961, he took over the directorial reins from Stanley Kubrick for the western One-Eyed Jacks. It was a flop and was followed by other flops. In 1972, he played Vito Corleone in The Godfather and his career experienced a resurgence. Grace Kelly on the Beach Grace Kelly was one of Hitchcock's favorite blondes, appearing in several of his films. She was not only beautiful but also talented, winning the Academy Best Actress Award for Country Girl. Kelly would have had a long Hollywood career, but then she met Prince Rainier of Monaco, fell in love and quit showbiz to marry him. The image of her posing on the beach is one of the last promotional shots she had before putting the brakes on her career. Ursula Andress in the White Two-Piece Ursula Andress will forever be known as the first Bond girl, having played Honey Rider in the 1962 movie Dr. No. Her first scene showed Andress wearing a white bikini emerging from the sea. The image was seared in the minds of Bond fans and has since become an iconic entrance. This scene depicted the first meeting of Bond and his leading lady. Betty Davis Lighting Up a Rocket To say that Betty Davis was an actress ahead of her time would be an understatement. Davis was brash, outspoken, and unafraid to take on big roles. Known for her acerbic wit, she was the type of actress who disliked exaggerated feminine ideals and would rather dress and make herself up in a more realistic way in her films. In real life, however, the lady loved wigs and had an extensive collection. Audrey Hepburn hanging out with Humphrey Bogart Bogart played one-third of the love triangle in Sabrina as a man who falls in love with Hepburn's character. In real life, however, Hepburn was enjoying the attentions of the third character, William Holden. Bogart, for his part, disliked working with actors who were many years his junior, and he also didn't like the fact that he had to share the limelight. Debbie Reynolds Gone Fishing Debbie Reynolds' lovely visage was all smiles, but at the time the photo was taken, her husband, Eddie Fisher, had just left her for Elizabeth Taylor. Reynolds was in the middle of a scandal, but as they say in Hollywood, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Her handlers saw her situation as an opportunity and decided to milk it by finding Reynolds bigger roles. It worked and Reynolds' fame grew stronger. Jack Lemmon in Daphne's Drags Jack Lemmon starred with Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis in Some Like It Hot. Both he and Curtis played cross-dressing men who needed to pretend to be women to play in a band. Lemmon turned out a fantastic performance, but he wasn't the original choice for the role. Frank Sinatra was. Lemmon eventually got the role and became one of the best-known Hollywood comedies produced. Shirley MacLaine in Marilyn Monroe's Role the film What a Way to Go was originally meant to star Marilyn Monroe, but she tragically passed away before production began. The role instead went to Shirley MacLaine. In the film, she was able to work with the likes of Paul Newman, Robert Mitchum, Dean Martin, Gene Kelly, and Dick Van Dyke. 
McLean received a BAFTA Best Foreign Actress nomination for the role. Delone and Bardot Elaine Delone and Bridget Bardot were two of French cinema's biggest stars. Both good-looking and popular, they worked in the famous love affairs. The press had a field day due to rumors that Delone and Bardot were having an affair. Both of them denied it, however, and Delone even said that all they had was friendship and love for each other. Lee Marvin on a bike If there was one actor who was the epitome of the alpha male, it would be Lee Marvin. Tall, masculine, with a gruff and rough demeanor. Marvin shot to fame playing rough and stoic characters. The former Marine starred in The Wild One, playing the belligerent leader of a rival biker gang to Marlon Brando's. In private, however, Marvin was far from being a tough outlaw. He spoke about the realities of war and supported gay rights. Veronica Lake's Look Veronica Lake poses in a slinky silver dress with her signature do, hair parted to the side, and her long locks partially covering her face. Lake was a beautiful film noir actress and quite talented. However, she didn't like acting. Her mother did. After she turned 30, Lake quit Hollywood and lived as a private individual in New York City for the rest of her life. Stepping Out with Ginger and Fred Hollywood's most famous dancing pair made over 10 films together, dancing and gracing the screen with their magnetic presence. Astaire's dancing marvel was matched by the talented Rogers. Their films together feature the pair dancing and singing, creating what will be one of the most popular love teams of all time. Jane Mansfield invading Sophia Loren's personal space This is one of the most famous shots ever captured, and a photo that Sophia Loren has always refused to autograph. It was taken at a party thrown in Loren's honor to welcome her to Hollywood. Rumor has it that Mansfield crashed the party and, knowing that the spotlight was on Loren, headed for her table and leaned over, revealing much for the world to admire. Ava Gardner Among the Waves Ava Gardner was called the most beautiful animal in the world, and yes, indeed, her beauty was staggering. Of course, it didn't escape the attention of Frank Sinatra, unknown Casanova, and unapologetic philanderer. He met his match in the equally fiery Gardner, with whom he had an extramarital affair and later married. Their fights and their romance are still the stuff of Hollywood legend. Sophia Loren relaxes on the beach. Sophia Loren always had that graceful, earthy charm. She was always classy and walked with confidence, belying the fact that her life as a young girl was not easy. Born to a single mother and experiencing hunger after the war, Loren was nevertheless strong and resilient. Beginning at age 14, she entered beauty contests, eventually catching the eye of producer Carlo Ponti, who would mold her into the star she would become and who later became her husband. Errol Flynn and his friends Errol Flynn is joined by his wife, Nora Eddington, and two of their friends on his yacht to celebrate his birthday. Flynn was notorious for raising hell, loving women, and breaking rules. He had an unsavory reputation and was known to enjoy spying on people when they visited his home. He was also tried for sexual offenses against two underage girls, but this did little to stop him from having more affairs with young girls. Liz and Dick on a yacht in Italy Elizabeth Taylor had an affair with Richard Burton after meeting him on the set of Cleopatra, but they would go on to marry and have a highly volatile relationship. Theirs was a relationship made for the papers, but there was real love between them. They were abrasive to each other, and this was made worse by Taylor's temper and Burton's drinking. Vivian Lee taking a cigarette break Dressed in Scarlett O'Hara's iconic red gown, Vivian Lee spent a break from filming smoking a cigarette. Fresh-faced and lovely, Lee was also a talented actress and highly capable of both film and stage. Although she was British, Lee played Scarlett as if she was born in the South. Frank Sinatra and Grace Kelly on a High Society Car Grace Kelly starred with Frank Sinatra in High Society and when two of Hollywood's most famous stars get together, people talk. There were rumors that they were a couple, but there was no truth to the matter. They were quite simply good friends. Rock Hudson Smoking Back in the 1950s, it was almost unthinkable to see Rock Hudson as a gay man because he hid it so well. 
thanks to the strong masculine roles he played. The Hollywood heartthrob was eventually found out, however, but his agents did everything they could to keep up the facade. Hudson kept his secret but eventually came out later in his life. Elsa Lanchester as Frankenstein's Bride When Elsa Lanchester appeared as the Bride of Frankenstein in the eponymous film, she became a pop culture icon. Already a famous stage actress, by 1935, Lanchester landed the role of the Tragic Bride and earned recognition for it. She appeared in supporting roles thereafter, working steadily until 1980. Pierre Angeli and James Dean Pierre Angeli captured the heart of rebel James Dean and never let it go. Unfortunately, their love story was not meant to be. Angeli's parents disapproved of Dean because they wanted a Catholic for their daughter. She'd go on to marry singer Vic Damone and divorce him four years later. Dean, however, died in a car accident at just 24. Eartha Kitt and Cesar Romero Eartha Kitt was TV's Catwoman, a co-conspirator to Cesar Romero's Joker. Her life was as dramatic as a Lifetime movie, though. Kitt was born on a cotton plantation and was kidnapped by a woman who she was raised to believe was her mother. The boyfriend didn't like Kitt and she was moved to a cruel aunt. She escaped New York and lived with a relative who turned out to be her actual mother. Jane Russell and the Aviator Jane Russell was discovered by famous eccentric and rich guy Howard Hughes at a dentist's office. He offered her a role in film he was directing and launched her career. Russell's famous curves inspired Hughes to design a special brassiere for her, but it was such a bad design that she never wore it. Robert Mitchum Robert Mitchum was a real-life bad boy who lived by his own rules. Starting from when he was a teenager, he'd been in and out of jails for various violations. As a famous actor, Mitchum found himself in jail once again for possession of marijuana. When he got out, however, he was even more famous than before. Clark Gable Clark Gable's smile is considered one of the most famous in Hollywood. Unfortunately, an early dental work led to a problem that would hound Gable for the rest of his life. His first wife was 17 years older than he was, but she taught him many things, such as how to stand, speak, and look his best. She also paid for his teeth. The dental work didn't last, however, and Gable had to wear dentures that gave him bad breath. Theta Barra Theta Barra was one of the queens of silent films. She was nicknamed the Vamp for her seductive looks. She played Cleopatra on film so well that producers floated a fake story about how the Ohio-born Barra was an Egyptian who dabbed in the occult. The Rat Pack Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Frank Sinatra share a laugh in this photo. Davis was a fan of Sinatra's, and when they met, Sinatra invited him to one of his shows. Davis didn't show up, and Sinatra was incensed. It turns out that Davis couldn't enter the theater because he was black. Sinatra tore up the contract he had with the theater for this, and a beautiful friendship was born. Gene Tierney at the pool Gene Tierney was beautiful and talented, but had a serious mental illness she couldn't and didn't manage. Unfortunately, she underwent 27 shock therapy treatments, which damaged her brain, preventing her from working again. Claudia Cardinal in a gown Claudia Cardinal was stunning and talented, but went through a traumatic rape as a teenager. She had a son as a result of the assault, and he was raised as her brother. Charles Bronson Tough guy Charles Bronson was the recipient of an inheritance from a fan. The fan stipulated in her will that if Bronson didn't want the money, he could donate it to the local library. The library didn't receive a dime. Yvonne DiCarlo Beautiful Yvonne DiCarlo was known as the test queen for Paramount because she could take on any role she auditioned for. She was tapped by Cecil B. DeMille himself to play the wife of Moses in The Ten Commandments. Anita Eckberg in the Fields Anita Eckberg was a famous pinup model and actress. She was not very talented in acting, but she looked good. She dated some of the most popular leading men in Hollywood, including Errol Flynn. Early in her life, she won the Miss Sweden title and was in the top five of the Miss Universe pageant. Marlene Dietrich on a motorcycle Stunning Marlene Dietrich was known for her beauty 
talent, and cross-dressing. On screen, she was also fearless, taking on roles showing androgynous sexuality and kissing another actress. This led to the creation of ratings and codes for the Motion Pictures Association to label and regulate what could be shown on screen. Rita Hayworth on a Bicycle Rita Hayworth was one of Hollywood's famous redheads, but she was actually a dark-haired bombshell with Spanish roots. She was a dancer, actress, and popular pinup, but to get to where she was, she had to change a few things, such as her name and her looks. She had her hairline raised through painful electrolysis to look less Latina. Mae West riding a Lincoln Sport Phaeton Mae West was a famous sex symbol of the 1930s who used rumors about her to her advantage. She was sassy, upfront, and unafraid about her sexuality at a time when women didn't enjoy a lot of freedom in society. Hedy Lamar, Beauty and Brains in One Body That's Hedy Lamar. Talented as an actress, she nevertheless used her intelligence for invention, the most famous of which is known as frequency hopping. She allowed the U.S. military to use the patent so they could communicate safely without the danger of having their transmission intercepted by the enemy. Jimmy Stewart Jimmy Stewart was a beloved Hollywood actor. He suffered from PTSD after serving as a combat mission pilot for most of his life. However, he kept working and getting roles for which his talent and fame grew. Stewart was mostly known for playing resolute but hesitant characters who eventually find their happy ending. Ingrid Bergman in Casablanca Clad in a white dress with little makeup, Ingrid Bergman appears resplendent in this promotional shot. Although talented and beautiful, Bergman was nevertheless the target of mean Hollywood gossip after she embarked on an affair with married director Roberto Rossellini. She was ostracized for it and had to stay away from Hollywood for seven years. She came back with a vengeance, winning her second Academy Award for Best Actress in Anastasia.